Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone of Ruel. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Back at you with a, uh, I guess, early in the week, quick strike. And uh, basically, I saw this, uh, I filed this dude, Reactions by SF. I know he watches the Prophets. Um, I know he's seen some things. You can just tell by the, the, the terminology and the uh, the vernacular, but um, at, that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> there's no justice on this side. Let me just get right into it. Um, and this is really a thing. Of, and this this is not, I'm not talking about him at all. The, this is just a backdrop. Um, our people are still leaning or, you know, preparing to vote. They're still leaning on, they're still staying upon him that smote him, right? You are trying to use this devil's system to your advantage, and it don't work like that. Now, here and there on a small level, you may be able to get over. You may be able to get a couple of dubs, you know, um, to further yourself a little bit. But uh, other than that, your justice doesn't come from here. It comes from on high. So we'll let this play. We'll get a couple of precepts, and then boom, that'll be the video. Nothing too long. Um, but I want to get straight to the point and um, just put that spirit out there to not trust in Egypt. While you're going crazy on him still. Not too long ago, he was just showing y'all how to correctly do mathematics. Now, he trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Uncle Sam. You know, and I feel like this honestly couldn't have came at a better time. You know, especially after the last couple of weeks of y'all out here. When I say y'all, I mean the black community. Talking about how y'all don't trust hood people. There's a lot of Sambo-ass niggas. Letting their true color show. I remember all through school, people were like, oh, you're light skinned, you was in the house. We can see the ones that was in the house. Y'all made that very clear. But anyway, this is what my uncle had to say. So supposedly he owes about one million in back taxes. He said, man, that shit is immoral to tax the descendants of slaves. You got this shit misconstrued. He continues on and says, 400 years of forced labor and never receiving any compensation for it. Now you have the gall, you know he meant that when he said gall. Now you have the gall to try to persecute and charge taxes to the descendants of a broken people that you are responsible for causing the breakage. In truth then- <laughs> So you see it. And now they want to hit him with the, with the back taxes. Now is he wrong? No. But, uh, right, uh. Be. That's part of the curses that are uh, they gotta be gotta be played out. All right, so these this is the blessings, right? If we did what we were supposed to do, which we did not, uh, I'll read it at the NLT, New Living Translation. Right? If you listen to these commandments of Yahweh, your power that I am giving you today. And if you carefully obey them, Yahweh will make you the head and not the tail, and you will always be on top, never on the bottom. Now, let's go. Uh, um, 28, scroll on down. You, know, you read through the curses, starting with 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Um, thou shalt grope in the noonday as the blind grope in the darkness, and thou, shalt set, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. All right, every time, man, you think, it, 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 the crazy thing is, if, say you made 70000 a year, and there were no taxes or the taxes were a little bit less you could actually be able to survive uh when you get bonuses <laughs> they tax the bonus uh, like everything is taxed you pay taxes on the, what you get oh d don't even get me started on a 401k they tax you on your 401 you put money away that is your money and you get taxed because you want to use your money that you put away wicked wicked Uh, let me see. I wanted to read the the the, uh, the invert the the exact opposite. Uh, 
The stranger that is within thee, this is 43, shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Right? You're not getting, you, you, you're not getting over on this. This is not your rest. Rise ye and depart. God, dog. There's no continuing city here. We have to keep um, we have to keep that mindset that all of this is about to be gone. Slowly but surely we'll lose some of these niceties, we'll lose some of these uh 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 uh, uh you know cushions that that we as uh, former Babylonians have known and have grown to love. All of that is about to be out of the window. The straight gate, we are going to be walking through the straight gate. You're gonna lose some things, you're gonna see people lost. Um, hell is going to be at our doorstep but at the very same time the Lord already said this had to come so you must maintain the faith because after that comes salvation to the elect I pray that those of you who are listening learning preaching and teaching including myself uh, we are of that number Micah 2 and 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction, especially when you accept this man's philosophies and you try to go about his ways. He set up these loopholes, these ambiguously written laws and statutes, and then you try to use it. If they're so ambiguously written, they can use it against you while making it work for them. You have no justice here. Isaiah 31 and 1, because of course these devils create all the problems. The Hegelian dialectic, they call the problem, they wait for the reaction, they bring the solution that they always already had. Because they're the ones that brought the problem. And uh, the foolish of our people and the heathen are going to lean on this devil. Help us, save us. Oh, uh, Ain't that what they were saying a couple years, four years ago? Save us, Joe Biden, you pathetic niggas. You you sickened me. You s I, I ain't gonna never forget that. I'll never forget that. Folks calling on a damn devil. The same one who wanted to put you under the jail. Called you all kind of names. Uh, proverbs and bywords. And, and, and how soon people forget. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help, who rely on horses, who trust in the multitude of their chariots, in the great strength of their horsemen. But do not look to the Holy One of Yahshua Allah, who, or seek help from Yahweh. Yet he too is wise and can bring disaster. He does not take back his words. All right. So those that lack faith, and I pray, if you are even feeling weak right now, pray fast. Do what you have to do. But ask the Lord for strength. And don't waver when you ask. That he may hear your cry, he may hear your plea, that the spirit will groan uh, and, and make utterances that you can't make in this finite, uh, 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 flawed tongue that we speak in as of now. It is written that the Holy Spirit does that. So with Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, not only did he uh, bring a, give us a way back to the Father, but he gave us help. He gave us grace in the midst of, uh, of being uh, behind enemy lines, of being in captivity. Where you continuously are forced to go off. You have no way of not going off. So grace is needed. Faith is needed. I believe that's all I wanted to grab. That might be, that might be everything that we need to say right here. Um, this is not your rest. You, are, you get no victory here. You get no justice here. So stop looking for it and look on high and we'll we'll end it out uh oh can't type proverbs 18 and 10 i'll just go to it with it within the app and, and it really internalized this think on this tonight or whenever you happen to you know i pray someone sees it whenever you happen to see this Think on this, meditate on this. Um, 
I know I will, because you know the name Yahweh, which means he is or he exists by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, whom you ignorantly refer to as Jesus. His name is he saves or he's the deliverer. You think on those names, you fear the Lord and understand that your disobedience, that that, that your willful sin, your willful uh, 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 going off, so to speak, will get you destroyed. Just as he said, the bad would happen and it has to us as a nation. So will the good. So don't think for one second that, you know, you, you can't get judged for a, a, a willful transgression. So be repentant, have fear, know the names, call upon the names when you pray. And we can end it right here. The name of the Lord is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous one runneth into it and is safe. And that's what we want. Safety. Because that's what everyone else is going to be looking for. But they ain't going to know where to find it. They ain't going to know how to attain the safety that you have. So with that being said, Shalom.